Broadband over power lines is yet another technology to enable the delivery of high-speed data services over the power distribution system. And this video gives an audible and visual demonstration of this technology's potential for interference to the high-frequency radio spectrum. It is currently being trialled in North Hobart, which is a suburb of the capital city of Hobart. And we're heading over Burnett Street traffic lights along Argyle Street in a northerly direction. And we are about to enter the North Hobart BPL trial area. In this video I am using standard mobile amateur radio equipment and no audio or video manipulation has been used. The signal meter superimposed at the top of the screen provides an indication of signal strength that is being received on the 80 meter amateur band. Mid-range on this signal meter is what amateurs call an S9 signal strength and this is a very high signal level. The BPL interference that can now be heard is consistently above the S9 level throughout the North Hobart BPL trial area as this video will demonstrate. This BPL trial is being run by Aurora Energy, the local power retailer, and its telecommunication arm Tastel. The BPL system used in this trial is manufactured by Mitsubishi and it utilises the DS2 BPL chipset. We turn into Ride Street past the North Hobart football oval and the BPL interference level continues well above the extreme S9 level. Radio amateurs or hams are licensed users of certain parts of the radio spectrum who have passed assessments regulated by the Australian Communications and Media Authority to prove competency in operating radio equipment. BPL operators are not licensed users of the radio spectrum and yet the technology they are deploying has the potential to cause interference across large segments of the spectrum. Here we are now in Letitia Street turning into Wignall Street and signal levels remain above the extreme S9 levels. BPL systems use large portions of the HF spectrum and leave no room for any other spectrum users within the BPL area. Radio amateurs are not the only users of the high frequency spectrum. The Department of Defence, Aeronautical Services, Broadcasters, Radio Astronomers, Maritime Emergency Services and many other users utilise the international natural resource we call the radio spectrum. We now turn back into Argyle Street heading south and the interference is blanketing everything else on the band. It would be impossible for high frequency radio operation with this level of interference. An operator could not hear anything on the band and therefore would not be able to safely transmit as they would not know if they were interfering with any other operator. They could not hear any distress or emergency signal, in fact they could not hear any signal other than the BPL interference. BPL systems are an array of radio transceivers using the power lines as the transmission medium. These power lines act as large antennas with dynamically varying characteristics due to power line network configuration changes and construction methods. Another issue for radio amateurs is that BPL systems are themselves highly susceptible to radio frequency interference from other sources. And testing in Mount Nelson and around the world has shown that very low levels of radio frequency energy close to BPL systems disrupt network activity to varying degrees. It would therefore be very difficult for an active HF amateur radio operator in a BPL enabled suburb to coexist without a range of issues relating to the level of emissions when receiving and the susceptibility of BPL systems when transmitting. This has been VK7 Tango Whiskey. Thanks for watching and listening.